Hey guys, it's Jen. Uh, Marvin will not be posting a video today due to some personal issues. Uh, we love you, Marvin, and we hope everything is okay. Uh, hopefully, he will be back by next Sunday. If not, we wish you all the best. Um, so, in lieu of missing Marvin's video today, I just decided to make like a quick kind of vlog thing. Um, as some of you know, I've been really sick, and I haven't left my house more than three times in the past month, and the times that I have left have only been to go to the hospital. So, I mean, it kind of sucks I haven't seen the real world and done anything too extravagant, except for sit on my butt, lie in bed and stuff for the past month. Um, but today, I was feeling kind of good, and I decided that maybe today... I would go out and get some fresh air. So, my mom said that she needed to go out and get a new pair of jeans. So we went to Blue Note, I think. We weren't out very long, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I hate going clothes shopping. Like, I absolutely hate it. I don't like doing it for myself, and I really don't like doing it for anybody else. Because it makes me feel bad about myself. I know I'm all for self-acceptance, fat acceptance, curve acceptance, and I do accept myself a lot of the time, it's just there are certain positions I get into, or certain days I have where I just hate myself, I hate the way I look, I hate everything about me, and today was one of those days. Um, I went into the store with my mom and my brother, and the whole store was filled with thin people, and I was like, whatever. I was the only fat person there. So, I kind of felt, like, awkward, like, people kept staring at me and stuff, I mean, maybe it was just in my head, but I was waiting for my mom while she was in the change room, my brother was also trying something on. And there was this girl who bumped into me. She didn't say excuse me or anything, or like sorry for hitting you or whatever. She turned to her friend and she said, I don't understand why fat people come into our stores. They're such a waste of space. Yeah. She was like 14 years old and made me feel like crap. The first time I leave my house in a month? Really? And she makes me feel like that. So I yelled to my mom that I was just going to sit outside the store and that I'd be waiting for her. And she said that was fine. And I actually went out into the hallway of the mall and I cried. I bawled my eyes out. It's bad enough that I'm bloated from my sickness. I'm fat from my sickness. And I haven't left my house in a month. And the first real contact I have with anybody else other than people that have been here and like at the hospital is negative. It really made me feel like shit. <laughs> like I'm, I don't know. It was, it made me really upset. And then I t when my mom came out of the store, I told her about it and I cried some more. But I eventually got over it because I realized that I am who I am. And I love myself, so I shouldn't let people get to me. Even though sometimes they do, it's only for a quick second. It's only for a couple of minutes. It's not, it's not that I can't go on living my life because people are out there that are negative. What's important is the positive people in my life and the positive comments and positive feedback I get from people. And I shouldn't take stuff that other people, especially 14 year old girls, to heart. I should not take it to heart. Anyways, that is my uh, video uh, to replace Marvin's video for today. Like I said, Marvin, I hope everything's okay and I hope we see you next Sunday. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow because my show will be up as uh, scheduled. It will not be up in the morning or around lunchtime either because I do have a couple of appointments to go to tomorrow. But it will for sure be up 
by dinner time my time. I don't know what like time zone I'm in or anything, but I'm in Ontario, Canada, so if you guys can figure that out, then go ahead. Uh, so yeah, and until tomorrow, I'm out.